I don't really have anything else to anything else to say after Shadow Wizard Money Gang. Well, that's the other Friday show, which is currently on hold because of control. Yeah. I You think I do too many shows? Yes. <laughs> As your co-host, yes. <laughs> I just I want to entertain. There's a very there's a many different things that I like doing. I just want but, you to play control. But attempting to attempting to run a, a one person network is maybe not the best for my overall sanity. Ah well. As time frees up, uh, that will become more possible. Um do want to shout out to a follower from last night after I went offline. Follow followers when you're not online is always an interesting feeling. Uh, Mr. Enderman. <clears throat> Congratulations on getting that name. I can't imagine it was easy. You've either been around for a very long while or are quite lucky. Anyway, I need to get to gameplay, so uh, I'll see you in a moment. Welcome properly to the Inverted Castle and back once again to... That's still the wrong goddamn button, but at least I didn't end the stream prematurely today. To control. Uh, yeah, what the hell were we doing? Lots of things. Oh, right, we needed to speak with Emily and have... Lots of lore dropped in your head. I, sorry, hold on, what? Are you, are you bragging are you bragging about the lore data on me how do you know that already I I mean they they read the briefing on uh, on the new director and well sorry they, they read they read the director Listen, summary previously but now there's a new director Screw so their memories have been updated <laughs> I, I don't know been completely honest yeah i have a younger brother dylan when we were kids we found an old slide projector in ordinary landfill right the town the of ordinary created doorways to other places the Aperture Science happen. Portal Slideshow Projector. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. Geometry. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. Good start. A being. What kind of being? It's hard to describe. But it... She helped us. Huh. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things... Polaris, be like, ways. don't misgender me. We're gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. And somehow succeeded in they running away. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. 
You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. Hmm. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. New objective. Can you tell me more about this being you found? What were you going to joke about the new objective game? Along. Uh, go to that She's segment. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. I beg your pardon? Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. One was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. I beg your pardon? Guys, years ago. See the guys Dylan. they were talking about? Is that Dylan? Uh, Other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Thanks. As director, you're fired. Never share key cards. Marshall is the next step. What? Am oh, I this this will be very useful. Unfortunately, you are violating policy. Goodbye. The bureau's past. I'm pretty it's sure that the old rules something. don't apply, considering the majority of the organization no longer exists. You so, I, if you thought regular Emily was like unrealistically coming. high definition and kind of creepy, that cutscene Emily is even creepier. Yeah. To come for and I like it. I really like it. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, old Boys Club. That's the actual next objective. Oh, what you just did is a time side quest oh, where you shittles. go to a certain part of the map and you... It, this, this side quest does nothing except give you a couple of random mods. You go to a certain part of the map, you kill some random enemies that are there, and then you get the loot. You'll hear those uh, alarm sirens, like the duh, sometimes, and that indicates that you have another one of these 20-minute time missions available. You can safely ignore them. You do not have to worry about, you know, not doing them. It's not like you'll, like, lose territory or control points back to the hiss or anything. It's uh, totally side content. So you just picked the wrong mission. Brings up a lot of okay. Communicating? Oh, Jesus, I have four more of these things. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. That sounds kind of nice, actually. Additional... No, that... Wait, why is it three? The number of pips doesn't... Oh... Number of pips doesn't what? Huh? I didn't I'll notice until I didn't notice until right now. But the number of dots does not mean it takes that many. Uh, no, the number of dots is just the icon. This is the, the tier three melee icon. This yeah. is the tier four melee icon. Yeah. Also, does not mean it takes that many points. Though I can see why you'd think that would be confusing. Okay. Well, I'll take both of those. They seem awesome. What about the plant attracted them? Um, You'll probably want to go to the missions thing and switch your mission back to the real one. I figured I might as well go try that, but... Oh yeah, no, you can go try it if you want. I just don't remember where I'm meant to be going. Does that help? Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah, by the way, it tells you right there that uh, melee does increase damage to armor. Because it's a power, not a gun. Yeah. Which you had figured out independently earlier. 
So this swirly thing is Polaris. Yes, the main menu is Polaris. Neat. Because the, the, the entire, like, menu system, I guess, is, like, part of the game, maybe? I don't know. You probably want NSC Energy Converter's entrance. Yeah, I think that that's that's kind of what I was aiming for, but I I forgot how the menu worked for a bit. It's fine. Okay. I don't know what's right. wrong with it. I have. It ain't got no gas in it. I have shotgun and the yeah yeah yeah, yeah I remember what I'm doing. Grab the exploding guys. Yeah, like that. Just be warned that when you grab an enemy, its health is set to zero upon you grabbing it, and not upon it colliding with the target. Ah! See, that's exactly what I was trying to warn you. Yeah, I know that, but that's not the one that was highlighted. I didn't think it would grab that one. Oof. You remember that you have a dodge. Yeah, but I don't remember how to activate it. Oh, well, mission over. Oh, right, I bound it to zero on the side of the mouse, so I wouldn't forget what it did. <laughs> and then I forgot. Hmm. Well, I forgot what you bound it to, because I'm not the one playing. I was trying to find yes. whatever I set my melee button to. I think you said it's the other side mouse button. I think I made it F. Right, I swapped I swapped to grab and No, that hold on. Where's my goddamn Grab is F. Melee is V by default, because it's the COD knife button. Right. No, like that's actually the reason why. Like I don't know if you've noticed, but most games that have melee that isn't the normal interact key have put it on V, and that's because on COD's keyboard controls, they decided that V was the knife button. I mean, it looks like the knife, I guess. Yeah. Okay, well, I uh, don't need to be here anymore. Because I no longer have a mission here. Because you fucking blew it. Oof. Okay, missions. Oh, right, the safe. It's okay. At the end of last stream, you were really figuring out how the game works with your new controls. Yes. So um, you'll probably pick it back up again with no problem. Spread. The hiss spread. It might be entropy then. Drift? Value drift? You must shut up them. <laughs> okay. I don't have access to anywhere that connects to this thing. Research sector. Oh wait, is that off that is that off the swanky elevator again? New major area. 
that stands to reason. I find it very interesting that Polaris doesn't upset me greatly. Why would it upset you greatly? It's like an inside-out sphere kind of deal, and... Like... Geometry folded the wrong way always makes me very nervous. I don't really know why, it just always has. Some I discovered playing around with uh, rudimentary 3D modeling stuff when I was younger. Oh, what the fuck was that? I don't. I don't know if that was supposed to do that or not. That might have actually been a graphical glitch. It's shit loaded in. Bing. All right. Okay. The office cat strikes again. clearance and and to follow the safety protocols read the manual otherwise... yeah read the manual otherwise bad things will happen you sure don't work in IT is this not IT I mean I guess it is right it's the the research place hey get some knives and then die barrier and it completely shattered. That was really funny. Check out this new enemy type. Have we figured out what it is yet? Oh! Yep. It's a, it's a miracle they all missed you because as you can see each of their shots does half of your health. Yeah, I can see that now. knives. I think that might be the case. Where, where is anybody? There you are. Knife time. <laughs> it's so funny. He's like, I, I'm gonna get you, and then you just like dip him in the pit with a freaking entire couch. He's like, oh. Ow. Oh, that guy's got a grenade launcher. That's bad. News. I noticed. Namely, when he hit me. Okay, that could have gone better. Cease? Remember, your energy does not recharge while you're holding things. Neither do their skulls. That's a grenade. <laughs> That's so comical. I heard it, and then yeah. I died. There you go. I hear an explosive. Dang. Well, it sure was explosive. I found the source of the ticking. It's a pipe bomb.
<clears throat> All right, let's try that again. Oh, I can dash while holding stuff. That's... I thought there was a floor there. Technically there was, but not where I thought there was. That sounds like a grenade. Hi. Did this guy spawn next to you and hit you with the funny metal blades at point blank? I think so. Bonk. Could really go for like a HEV recharge station or something. Oh wait. What's wrong with that? The wrong game. Like wall mounted health recharger isn't uh cool. You are literally spending every single fight constantly living at the health gate. There's enemies around. Wait, my health does recharge eventually? Yeah, I did not know that actually. I guess it's that you aren't stuck on bloody screen literally forever. I did not know that. But then I think you were, you've actually Ooh. been considered to be you've been considered to be out of combat for a while, I believe. Did you pick up the phone again? I did. Oh no, I can't use it in an emergency. That this always is. Ding dong. I think he lived. He lived. He did live. That guy did not. this the worst possible way it's fine it's fine I think this object will be extremely effective this like oversized guitar case will be extremely effective if we find something to throw it at I take it that your strategy is to wait downstairs until your one-shot protection regenerates and then run out and kill one guy. Well, hopefully kill targets. more than one guy, but, like, I didn't mean to fall to the bottom floor where every hazard at once is converging. Oh, there you are. That counted. Did I not know where you are? But... <laughs> the guy ran straight past you. Yeah, as you notice, that guy's health was set to zero when you picked him up. Take care. Ah, oh, no, I changed weapons. Come on down. You're the next contestant on Remember Die. Remember that you bet on change weapon to scroll mouse wheel down, so that is why you were likely doing that so frequently accidentally. Yes, I do remember that. I just... No. No, thank you. Where are you... Where were you shooting from? Uh... 
I know where he is, but I'm not telling you. Look, if this is the strat that I that works, I'm gonna do it. It's stupid. But it works. Have a seat. Oh my god, finally held. I don't even know what the hell you just grabbed. Is that like part a broken part of like a desk or something? I think so. That sure was most of the bush. I mean, you didn't need the bush for cover anyway. <laughs> Why did that man deal so much damage? I mean, they're pretty heavy when you think about it. I suppose, yeah. I mean, like. They want how heavy a small pouch is, like with like a hundred twenty pounds. Okay, an adult man in good physical condition could be easily be like two hundred and thirty pounds. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Got there, eventually. <laughs> After an amount of faffing around. Okay, so where the damn ass hell did I come in all the way at the top and then I fell all the way down? Nope, you did not come in all the way at the top. Yeah. But there is... You haven't an... seen any of this before. What? I said, you have not seen any of this before. You have yeah. not walked up here at any point. I... both love and hate probably what's beyond that room. I absolutely love uh, dimensional fuckery. Oh. I've been fielding questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? What's the deal with the Hedron Resonance anyway? Oh, you don't get to fucking do that. I... Fuck. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements. We're listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not I was gonna say wearing we wouldn't need this or... obvious thing strapped to you to do that we're inside the federal building think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver only instead of water the the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified comforting one day that classified not water might pour in and You'll be glad you got a got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. Doesn't really seem like it. Kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. Oh, that that E is for that, not the. <laughs> Not the seismograph printing cubes. I don't know if you noticed, but it said that he was kidding about it being quick and painless. Yeah. He he did he wasn't 
He wasn't kidding about the you dying. He was kidding it about it being quick. So, is this a seismograph and is it printing symbols? That's weird as shit. It's something. I don't think it's meant to be printing. Oh, hey. Hi. I've taken this IQ test before. Real electrical engineering be like. Yeah. I feel like I just got nerd sniped by XKCD again. Like, ah, here's a unrelated thing with an absolutely insane uh, diagram on it. Hmm, what is the resistance that was like, stop? Oh. Oh, what? my favorites. Read all this later. My god, they're working on classifying sandwiches. I don't have anything clever to say, sorry. I'm rather quiet because I've been just letting you look around. There's a oh, lot no. of stuff to see in research. Good stairs. <laughs> yeah, Great <that>. stairs. <laughs> that's one of the funny things you can see in research. Oh yeah, so you see how that, that object, the one to the right of this, is called an intrusive pattern and it's the start of an upside down pentagram? Yeah. It's not so much that it's the start of an well, I mean the symbol for it is, but like, it's, it's like an intrusive thought. You can't help it being there. Um, yes, that's, like, the, that's why I love some of the some of the icons for these uh, for these like crafting items. I fucking love them for that reason. Intrusive, yeah, intru intrusive, intrusive pattern. pattern is like the is probably my favorite one. You, you know what else could have been the icon for intrusive pattern? Yeah, I know what you're gonna say. Do you? Um, I have a guess. I, I was gonna say, like, somebody's fucking homework and all of the B's and O's have been filled in. Oh, I was gonna say lost, but missing a few lines. <laughs> oh, that's even better. No, I was I was thinking specifically of, like, huh, what if I filled in all of the circles in these words? It's like, why did you do that? Examination of paranatural topics, the astral plane, and objects of power. Yes! The Bureau has spent many has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that as a potential receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes in the collective subconscious would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an AWE occurred within its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the or the board, presumably, or something? I don't know. Yeah, I believe so. And the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane, and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully the truth will emerge. Alternative perspective, objects of power and their astral connections. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to... The board? The an board. Entity who the an entity, entity yeah. Information okay. on. Yep. Yeah. In his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the board, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work supposes that these links are innate, a fact ingrained into the 
very definition definition maybe yeah definition yeah. of objects such as hotline or the service weapon but what if these particular objects were never linked to the board but had that connection forced upon them isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such contact with the board? Isn't it strange that the using the service weapon or the hotline will re result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume that this involvement by the board is a natural fact and not something more probably like... Sinister. It's a long fucking blank for sinister. S sinister or parasitic. Yeah. Did they, Do these bars ever come off or are you just guessing no no actually no they don't which is really weird because you would think that as a director you would have access to all the unredacted copies of things but i think the reason why they don't come off is because you are picking up physical pieces of paper throughout the oldest house and those are already redacted yeah and you don't have access to the originals is the vibration conscious what could a force like that do Ooh. Blank opened the door to a blank I've called blank. Ah, how helpful. The blank admits a force that is far beyond the forces we previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder. Is resonance the key element in all alternate phenomenon? AWE, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common attribute that we've yet to discover? Can we harmonize control points? What else? Or we can harmonize control points. What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if the resonance has been the answer the whole time? Refer to file... don't. I... really need people to stop calling it like well-aged brown on your desk. I don't... I don't like that. This is just the thing I saw, isn't it? Well, I mean, I don't think it's that weird. He just... Okay. Angie, wait, no, stop for a second. Okay, you know in that in that presentation about the HRAs that was up on the wall in the slide projector? Yeah. Yeah, so at the beginning of that presentation, he actually knocks over a whiskey glass and it crashes on the floor and he says, fuck. Oh. Right, so in some of Dr. Darling's presentations, he's drinking because he's losing his fucking mind, right? But I see. Fun fact, him knocking over the whiskey glass and breaking it was not scripted, and they just rolled with it. Sweet. Because it was so fitting. <laughs> so that's why he just, like, keeps saying his lines while, like, bending over to, like, pick up the broken piece of the whiskey glass. There's like, you know what? No, this is perfect. Keep it in. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that was a whole office. I don't know what I expected. Have you seen these before? Look in front of you. I have not. I feel like maybe I should go where it wants me to go first, because this leads into a whole thing. Also, maze entrance? Yeah, you know what? Let's go the other way. The enemies respawn, by the way. Aww. Oh! Piss butts! I don't think you've done damage to him yet. I legit thought you blocked the rocket with that man's corpse for a second. That is not what happened. The enemies respawned, but notably all of my health pickups are still over there. Yeah. The health pickups, I think, have infinite lifetime. I think they just kind of stay there until you unload the area by fast traveling. Huh. Yeah. Didn't see you there at first. Uh, 
Okay. Alright. Alright. Cool. Great. All of my health pickups are still there. Dies. Yeah, you walked away from the house, to be fair. There were dudes that way. <laughs> Dang it. But you basically don't need money for, for anything in this game anyway. That's not true. You need money to upgrade guns. Oh, God damn it. I'm <laughs> the whole room. Someday I will complete this place. Complete what? This room. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot to see in this room and the things that branch immediately off of it. True. Alright, this is where the game wanted me to be going. Is it? They tell you to go to parapsychology? Oh, yeah, it tells you to go in that direction. Okay, yeah. But... Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, this looks like where you're supposed to be going. I don't like that. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Astral Exhibition. Ah, okay, so that's that's the That's the thing. That's the optional right thing. Got it. Which the last time you tried it you died instantly, so Yes. Uh, well, let's uh, let's go to the astral exhibition, I guess. Well, this place is a little fucked. A touch. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, on Ve wheels? venting paper everywhere. More well, random paper now, but. Okay, that thing explodes. Try shooting that thing. Thing? What thing? Red thing, right there. The guy's hiding behind it. Oh. I can't tell it's red at this distance. Which I realize Why are there is. There's 20 fire extinguishers! I mean. Maybe these Is this rooms. Area especially flammable or something? Maybe the test chambers are. Yeah, maybe whatever's in there has something to do with like you know fire venting or whatever. I don't know. Oh no! Oh yeah, there's all those explosive thingies. Okay, that makes sense. Now that I see it, they have all those weird explosive seismographs here that actually makes sense why they have so many fire signatures. Because one might not be enough, in all honesty. <laughs> Oh, hi. Oh, there's more of you. Get school, kid. Because it was a whiteboard? Yeah, you have no idea how many one-liners I have stored up for like every possible throwable object in this game. <laughs> I've been trying so hard to not be saying them the whole time. I am 100% okay with you, Ed. Okay. Was that everyone? So you pick up a chair. Have a seat. Doesn't sound like it was everyone. Well, it's because I don't know if you see it, but one of the one of the exhibit rooms has some uh, some funny in it, or actually two of them do. Oh. You're having a bad time. Uh, 
Is that like just like a massive fucking blood stain on the room in the other one? Uh. Yeah. It looks like someone or something exploded in there. So yeah, again, I guess I see the reason why there's so many fire extinguishers. Good lord. Who would have known that parapsychology would be so uh, incendiary? Ball. Okay, yeah, that's the way I came in. Well, the room is still enormously upsettling. Upsettling? Upsetting. Upsettling. Yeah. Unsettling and upsetting at the same time. Turn off your televisions. Yeah, are they just... These people are just in there being subjected to hiss monitor. Alright, well, next phase. I actually think it's the exact opposite. I think that the, uh, the guys in there were in there before the hiss came in. Hmm. That's a control point, by the way. Yes. It's on the wall. I do so love enormously complex systems. Well, this looks awesome, by the way. Oh, that's hey! Their, that's their scale 3D model of part of the astral plane. You may oh, recognize yes. it. Yes. Yes, I do. It is not fond of being in this box. Why does it mean that part of the glass is broken? An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. Yeah? In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement. Native species, always in the distance, and yet, contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fume, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper Don't! Containment protocols you... to be observed when Faithful to those it feeds on whimsical animation in the presentation. It feeds on 1999 PowerPoint transitions. Okay, it that's delightful. Bing. Yeah, you do this. Oh, you ruined it. It was already ruined. Okay, it's fine. You fucked it up more. Bing. Really? Yeah, really? Really? I think the whole thing is considered a solid object. Like, see how the glass is floating? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I want to get like a downward, downward perspective on it that'll stick, but sorry, I'm not gonna have any luck on that. Stop mumbling. Sorry, Jen from HR. I was gonna say, you really like shooting them in the nuts, don't you? But, uh, no, you've seen to shoot them all in random positions. Yeah. thing they warned you about? Yeah, that thing that they were just talking about. Okay, so let me warn you about this a little bit. So this should go for uh, everyone, anyone watching, not just you. Uh, these guys make a lot of like flashing lights when you're near them. Um, you might actually be able to turn it off in the settings. Just figure out to let you know that. I think Noted. reducing flashing is an option somewhere in here. Uh, maybe try... Yeah, just look around, see if you can find it. Huh. Never mind. Well, that's kind of lame. Yeah, these guys make a certain amount of flashing lights. Okay, so. well, that's unfortunate. Auto sensitivity, auto sensitivity epilepsy warning. You can see what oh, I mean. Oh, these are the, the, the fuckers that were roving around in there that were just things I needed to avoid. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Uh, well, we'll have to enc encounter that in a few minutes. Ads are about to occur. <laughs> yay, Twitch. And by yay, I mean anti-yay. Nay. Nay. I believe what you're looking for. Boo, capitalism. See you in a bit. Okay. We return. Yeah. Uh, That's there to say. So this dude's just here. This is glass. It's all for glass. All right. Oh, that button opened this. Okay. Why do I want to go in there? I don't know. I don't think you do. Yeah, that stands to reason that I don't. Unless there is a way to defeat it. I think it went the wrong way. I think you're supposed to go to the next room over. Quite possible. That is part of the reason I love this game, though. Because you can't just walk the wrong fucking way. Yeah, weren't you supposed to go to parapsychology, not parakinesiology? Well, yeah, but I went to the Astral Exhibition because it seemed fun. Okay, well now you know what it is, and it's not fun. Yeah. It's very, very kill. Oh, God damn it! it's this hallway again. Yeah, well, I like I'm... how when you're jumping while holding something, there's no animation for it. I'm prepared for... Huh. Do you get crushed by this space folding? I'd assume so. That's kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're supposed to squeeze through here. Through there. No, no, the right. Ah. You know, in the direction towards the thing where she called for help on the fucking PDA and was like, hi, uh, you know, this is, this is, uh, Marshall. You literally walked in the opposite direction of the main quest because there was a bright light. All right, well, cool. Now I have a light. It's very helpful. Wait, can you even get there? No, I think I have to go through the... the terrible way. You might even have to go all the way the fuck around, actually. This might just be closed up. Yeah, well, the... Oh. Oh, you mean that whole other space. Yeah, where you just were might actually be where you have to go. I assumed that you were just supposed to go the other way and use the, you know, comms thing. Because that's, you know, what you were exposed to when you came in here. But, uh... 
Feels like I might be totally damn wrong. Are you gonna throw the explosive at the funny at the funny uh, seizure man? Gonna try. This is put back like, together. That's cool. I do love the fact that dude literally just looks like a, a, a floating glitch. You know? Damn it! Yeah, things do that if you carry them too far. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Engine limitation. Okay. Call me paranoid, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut this behind me. I know rooms reset and all that, but... I can't help but notice the alarm isn't on anymore. Yeah, that's fun. Hi. So do you respond to stimulus, or are you just kind of a thing? He responds to stimulus. See? It's a tiny ball. Oh yeah, oh god! That's not a button. No, in fact, that's one of the many, many fire extinguishers that we have come to see from research. Oh, hi. So is the idea to, like, trap it in one of these fucking hallways? Yes, you probably want it to be in this one instead of the other one because, you know, the other one is uh, how you get to the rest of the map. This hallway seems to be a useless loop in the corner. So can you, like, hide him into this room? Oh, yeah, wait, wait, you see that button there? Yeah. I think if you get him, you want to close the other one. Well, wait a second. You want to, you want to, you want to go in the other way. Because you can't close the doors behind you running through this way. If you go the other way, you can close the doors behind you. Because you see, go to the other door of this hallway. See what I mean? Ah, yes, okay. Yeah, so you want to lure him in here, and then you close that door behind you. Wait, that might not work. Wait, what's that button do? There's a button there. That is a great question. Oh, it does nothing, because it doesn't have enough power. Ah, okay, so there's the other power bit. I think this is supposed to be his, like, zoo cage. You know, with all, like, the armor on the inside and Yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. I think that's... I think that's more where I'm meant Sometimes to be. Sometimes you hit that button. Ah. Yes. I was meant to do that while it was over this way. All right, come on in, fella. Is he in? Yes, he's very in. And then close the other door before he goes to the hallway. Oh, good, it already closed that one. Great. Okay, you're good. By the way, do you have you looked at the ceiling? With that thing. Yeah, it's a mock-up of the pyramid. Oh, it's just a shitty wooden replica, and a bunch of parts have fallen off of it. Oh my god, is it a mock-up? Oh, I see what they're fucking doing here. It's a mock-up of the area and the pyramid to try and trick it into thinking it's at home. Yeah, it's a zoo. It's a zoo exhibit. Yeah, calm down. You're 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 in the astral plane. It's like I can tell I'm not in the astral plane, asshole. Okay, well right, that yes. was uniquely terrifying. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Hypnosis lab. Time to get banned from Twitch. You, you, you like kissing boys, don't you? I mean, yes. Uh, so, did you see that notification at the bottom left? The hiss clusters. Ah, so that thing? See the icon showing that they're getting healed? 
Yeah. Oof. Oh no, those are the Hiss clusters. No, no, it's the spheres. It is the spheres, okay. It is the spheres, that's the new enemy type you haven't seen yet. Okay. They have infinite healing range. And they move, so... You are so lucky. Sometimes. Look, I know you have healing and all that, but, uh... You can have DPS the healing. It's not that bad, but it is really at all. Alright, you know what? That works too. Oh, this guy doesn't follow the rules, so the guys in the in the, the wheelchairs? I don't know what they're supposed to be in. The guys in the chairs. They look like wheelchairs, but I'm not completely sure. They seem to not follow the same rules. They can dodge while their knives are up. They still have to drop the knives to dodge. I'm not sure I fully understand when you're supposed to throw things at those guys. I do love the fact that the random scrubs like kick you once and it does like three quarters of your health. Oh, that was still a little close. Considering the rockets that flew right past you and didn't hit you crazily, I don't blame you. How about the trash can that I was aiming at? Yeah, go pick up all the health from all the previous guys who killed. Yeah, I'm doing it. I got Chair Boy, right? Yeah, no, Chair Boy's been dead for a while. Okay. He got big boy with a grenade launcher. Did you get something that lets you throw live grenades back at them? Uh, yes, but I... I think so. I'm guessing you do not trust your capacity to throw live grenades back at them. I always seem to end up with live grenades at my feet, uh, at the worst times. Out to the other guy, excellent. It's drive month, let the men smash. Nice job. All right. Put this room back together. moment, Marshall. There's a bunch of shit to pick up. Like, a bunch of shit. So when combat's over, my pickup range increases dramatically. Of loot and health items, yes. Yes. That's nice. 
So because if your pickup range is that wide, normally it would be too easy to get health back during yeah. flights. Ooh. That sounds nice. Oh no. Oh my god, they're actually doing it. And it's pointless. Yes. It's pointless for now. This is actually one of the rooms where you can get something early by, uh, by, uh, Parkour end, by the way. Really? It's not, not there, though. It's up there on the green violet cabinets. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. When I say something, I don't actually mean something major. There's no sequence break, but... You know, not these violet cabinets. The ones against the wall. Ah. Both. Got it. Oh. Oh, I see. You gotta use the good stairs. They're all good stairs, they Bront. There you go. Okay. Have you looked at any of your mods? Like, have you gotten higher tier upgrades yet in any way? Very possible. Let's have a look. Oh, you got tier two. You got tier two stuff. So tier one stuff now. That might be very helpful. It's not. Oh Jesus! Okay. Take that over the other one. Uh, we're at thirty-one. Anything else with? This is a note, by the way, now your inventory is almost full. When this fills up, you will cease being able to pick up upgrades, so you have to actively deconstruct all the garbage ones. Unfortunately, there is no auto-destroy. Sorry, since my inventory is almost full, this is finite? <laughs> yeah, your inventory has 24 slots in a hit escape, assuming. Oh. That's what it is, 22 out of 24. You have, you have 24 slots for inventory. Uh, I and see. Yeah, you have to you have to actively destroy them. Unfortunately, I wish right. it just auto destroyed the low tier ones, but it doesn't. I mean, tier one's always going to be worse than tier two, right? Correct. By definition, there's no reason for you to keep any tier one mods. At least it's fast. Those are identical. Okay. Uh, weapon mods. What is this thing? We're on damage boost. Consecutive kills boost. 51? That seems kind of sick. It's for like two seconds after getting a kill. Oh, okay. Well still means it's really good it's just not it's, it's not amazing rate of fire boost that i mean rate of fire is a bit like damage yeah it wastes ammo for this fur the same effect Ooh, enemy armor damage exclusive to pierce new gun type I don't know if I'm sold on Shatter, to be honest. Back to Grip. It's the semi-auto uh, handgun. Yeah, I know.
Don't worry about, like, the inventory filling up thing, because the game will give you bright red text when it happens. Ah, good. Okay. Right, we put the room back together. Half a brain. Got it. Did you use the control point? Not separately from... Yeah, I don't remember whether it. that matters. Oh. That looks neat. Oh, you'll have it in a few thousand dollars. Just try not to die. I... Yep. Oh, and then these were the random ones. That's right. Don't do that. Yep. Yeah, you won't need those. They're useful later, but not right now. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. Director Faden? I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk. She got that right. More of you? Really? should be like concerned, you know what I mean? Face planted. Try not well, to die. So much... Dies. Yes. Yeah, so much for being able to buy Pierce anytime soon. I love the wording. You will sustain lethal damage if you fall too far. So does that mean I survive through the lethal damage? Or does that mean that it kills me? It's such a strong, weird phrasing. It's like, okay, would it be too hard to say, pay attention to your surroundings. If you fall too far, you'll die. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, like, are you dying? Then why is it lethal damage? That's damage that would be lethal to a human. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on, I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk. She got that right. More of you? Really? All right, and now combo with yourselves. That didn't happen. This is not an ideal place. Back into a corner. Can I cleanse the space again? Jesus. I, okay, hold the fuck on. <laughs> I've seen elevators with, like, a back door, but corner elevators is a new one. Uh, the, the oldest house is a weird place, I don't know what to tell you. Notice how, by the way, that elevator door leads into the other elevator. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Luck and it, this, probability. This, 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 this fucking building is a, is a geometric monstrosity, like non-Euclidean hellhole, you know that. Ah, good. More bathrooms. I... Mm, rubber duck supplement. Oh, boy. Is this about why we can't have rubber ducks? Or something Wrong that section. happened with rubber ducks? Well, yeah, but I have unread things. 
that I just want to check. Rubber Duck. Discovered in the age, home of Agent something after his young daughter complained of being followed by a rubber duck. According to Agent Blank, the matter was ignored, believed to be the result of a child's imagination until he began to hear the quacking at night. The quacking. The quacking. <laughs> according, according, <laughs> after discovering the agent discovering the item hiding in his daughter's closet he brought it to the bureau for study update it was discovered that agent blank was bringing known paranatural materials into his home illegally taking them outside the oldest house how this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated agent blank has been terminated I think they mean they actually fucking killed him, not just I mean, they, yeah, they fired in, him. In 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 the way of uh um in the way of uh you know, the, the SCP uh thing of like uh oh, yes, the, the those involved have been uh terminated. It's like, yeah, they're just fucking dead. Well, yeah, it's kind of, I imagine, with, much like with SCP, the people who know shit, like, them actually having that knowledge inside their brains is, like, an existential threat to, like, life outside the, the system, so they just have to kill them. Like, there's no way around it. In a lot of cases, at least. That's that's not that's not precognitive powers. That's you encountered a problem at work and you dreamt up the solution. You dingus. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Is it? The probability in luck lab, right? Yeah. That, that's what she just said, so it makes sense to me. So y'all are just leaving these here? Okay. Yeah, I mean, they don't they don't bother shooting them, apparently. Though it may be because they are reluctant to fire upon their, you know, fellow employees unless they have to. You see what I'm saying? I suppose that's fair, yeah. I imagine that their, uh, their approach to this is probably Try to kill as few people as possible, because they might be curable or something. <laughs> Hi. It's a weird fucking I mean, room. That probably also be my approach too. You know. So wait, is this just the? Yeah, this is that same yeah, you're room. On the upper floor of this. Yeah, you're on the upper floor of the same area. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Weird. I don't recall seeing this balcony. That's because you didn't. Because that is an elevator that goes to it that you used. That's not otherwise accessible. Luck and probability. Hey. Okay, you are alive. Yeah, they're both alive. Well, I was gonna say if these are corpses in front of a Maneki Neko, maybe I don't play with it. I have no idea what that means, but I'm assuming you know more about the local legends behind this thing than I do. Lucky cat. Yeah, okay. That's what it means. All right. I guess that's why it's in the luck and probability sector. Yeah, it's like a, a um, well, luck and fortune in business kind of deal. Is it supposed to have its hand moving or not moving? It's supposed to have its hand moving. Okay. What? Oh, it's an infinite number of... Never mind, it's not infinite. No, it's a four-leaf clover you can pick up and put down. Oh, well... As you can see, they're cultivating four-leaf clovers. Yep. It's a fucking weird place. There you are. I was starting to worry.
This is a... <laughs> Somehow, this is the weirdest office I've been in. What? What's the matter? You never heard about the horseshoe mounted on the wall? That's no. a lot of ordnance. Can I have that? <laughs> yeah, we, we make our own luck. It. <laughs> yeah, we make our own luck. <laughs> With a pocket full of shells. <laughs> Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Glad see to see you. She already knows who you are. Dead, then. Glad to see and you are you wearing your. Uh... Yeah, but she knows Just exactly what's going Jesse. on. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Yeah, kind of. Makes sense. None of this phases her. Why would it? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. And you have the service weapon. She could know about Dylan. And the floppy disk. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. Of course. This should help you get past them. Level four clearance. You clear out the hiss. Nope, she's not giving level four clearance. I don't think. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. I don't think she actually gave you anything. Yeah, I don't think she gave you anything. It's weird. Yeah. Maybe she gave me that. I don't think so. So that one's just infinite then, isn't it? Of course. Perfect. Jesus, five? It was four to get into this room. Oh, all right. Yep. There's just just a butt pile of dudes here. Don't, don't mind me. Just in here for a second. Cause I want this, and also I want this. I missed. You are under the effect of the healing thing. We have to help them. Yeah, so there are rangers out here. There are there are allies in this fight. You'll see them. I'm trying to kill them. Alright, well there's a cluster down. Hey look, I see more explosives to you. Nope. Right side, next to that dude. Oh yeah, there you go. Watch out, that's explosive. Okay, so those are friendlies. Yes, they're friendly because they're green. You may also notice the triangle is right side up instead of upside down. Yes, very helpful. Yeah, so it's not only the color indicator. I also speak English instead of uh, reading. <laughs> That's probably pretty helpful. I couldn't oh, have done anything right. about that. Oh boy! Hey, you made it out without taking damage. Nice. Did all of the rangers die? It looks like all your friends died, but all the enemies died too. So we're gonna call that a pyrrhic victory. I guess, yeah. Oh, control yeah. point. Oh, the control point. Yeah, that, that that's kind of important. Good. Unfuck this house. 
Wow, this one's a little bit more resistant than the usual. Oh, why, this is that's, that's why. Is that fairly Kinesiology Chief Lewis? Yes. Uh, if you put plus armor damage on your other gun? You know, I Maybe did. You're right. Uh, what did he just... What the fuck did he just conjure? I think he threw his shield at me. I thought he picked a bunch of rocks. Ow. Are there any health elements? Are there goons we killed? Oh yeah, there is. There's a big pile of health over there. By the way, I should let you know, dodge has no cooldown. It just costs energy. You can like spam it like five times. Yeah, I, I did support. to get out of that corner. Hi, heathen. Remember from the first boss, the, the little line with the arrow thing indicates that someone's preparing a projectile attack against you? Yes. Okay, so yeah, he is launching his shield because his armor goes away when he does that. He is not very vulnerable to the machine gun, I gotta say. Yeah, you need the armor piercing gun for this. Like, you can hear the bullets bouncing off, right? Yeah. Oh, he's got goons, he's got goons. Not strictly who I was aiming at. Is that a leaf? He just killed a dude with a leaf. Oh, you just raised a leaf, that motherfucker. That's hilarious. You threw a single leaf at him, and he was like, ooh, ouchy. Hmm. Even with the plus armor damage, it seems like the bullets are bouncing off. Hi. Melee his shield to knock it down. Seems like maybe. And stop the shield. On the other hand, that also meant that you got pwned by his uh, his fools. So. so yes, it works, which is really risky. Sorry, uh, Control, you're going to have to wait for just a second. My coworker has just messaged me an accident has occurred. A mannequin randomly fell apart. At work. Um, to answer the question in chat, uh, I mean, yeah, things are very red, but at least I'm not trying to discern green while things are very red. Sorry, one moment.
Okay. All right. Yeah, mannequin uh, fell over and landed on my coworker. That's not good. It's also not creepy at all. We never thought we'd be fighting on our own turf. Seriously, I'm threshold safer than this. Seem to be okay. Are those the friendlies again? Or are those the enemies again? Uh, let me look. I really hope the enemies didn't be. That, that's friendly. Huh. Notice there's like a light glowing that isn't red. See, they, huh. they have those little mining helmet things. Oh, cool. The friendlies are alive again. How nice. Well, presumably, after you cleared this fucking room, Marshall sent some people back in. Yeah, time to try the boss fight again. Or if we have friends this time. Because they're alive. Yes. Okay, so focus on taking the dude's armor down. They should be able to gun him down pretty effectively. Can you get Walter playing explosive at him when he's got a friend in this one? Quite sure what I'm meant to be doing about this asshole. Uh, reduces HP to zero. Yeah, to defeat the cyber demon. I'm just like, legit, I don't know how that misses went. Like, what do you do about it? Oh, you just shoot him until he dies. Like, also, we're next one. We're going to uh, ask them. This seems inefficient. It looks like the boss is focusing on you, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, I did. Okay, so you have a shield. He literally can't attack you while the shield's up. And yeah. then he turns his shield into a giant rock. See, and then he throws it at you. Yeah. Except he doesn't because you fuck him up. So it's just like you do with the knives. You wait for him to form the knife, except in this case he forms a concrete slab, and then you... Yeah, like that. Oh, he also feels like a ground slam. Did you see that? Yeah, that's cool. You can actually be able to just throw enough stuff at him that... Oh, yeah, if you just break his shield, it looks like he had staggered. Oh, hey. He was the same for him, like, five there. Get off the corner! Okay, let's learn. Don't be inside the shield when he forms it. That hurts a lot. Kind of like Samus' final smash and brawl. That was brawl, right? Move! I got stuck on the fucking... Not now. God damn it! That's not that funny, by the way. Yeah. Oh no, he's dead. How did none of those bullets hit you? Hi. Damn it! I thought you threw him already. 
He he made it, dude. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not the red that's bothering me. It's it's like I am dealing piddly damage to this asshole. These loading screens are peculiar. Ba, 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 ba. Charts. As if you can find anything. Please appear on top of that barrel. And you appear on top of that barrel? I love how your little buddy just meleeed the rock shields. Like, yeah, that's gonna work. Oh boy! He's not holding the, he's not, he's not holding the thing anymore. Yeah. Seems to be going much better. No, not the and rock. He did the ground slap like a punk and missed. I jumped. Yeah. Yeah, meaning he missed. I'm not saying that you have to know the part in it that it's like he missed the ground slam. I don't think he's even hit you. Yeah, see, so he's doing the ground slam again. Yeah, that's... The, uh... Where's Big where Boy? How did he go? Yeah, where did he go? He had an excellent explosive barrel right there to finish him off. Where the fuck did he go? Is he dead? Take that item, I take that item, oh my god, that's the best month. You are so lucky. You've gotten three damage boost mods. Unfortunately, they've all been tier one. Bang! Ah, no, no, they're still hostiles, but it's not him anymore. I think you can just deal with these guys by throwing concrete at them. Or metal or explosives. If you feel like some overkill today. Okay. One more Guess time. Try it again. Cleanse yeah. control point. Can't say I'm fond of your choice of wall decor. It still looks kind of fucky. Okay. Now how far away am I? Oh, I can do it. Sure. What'd you do? Made the pierce. Oh, okay. 
So, you can switch to it now. Okay, hold on. Unequip that from this thing. What are you trying to do? Taking stuff off of guns I'm not using. Okay. Precise charged shot penetrates armor and enemies at any range. Neat. Aiming? Damage while aiming? While holding a right mouse button using the aim thing instead of hip firing it. Oh, okay. All right. Try it. Go see what I mean. So what was the thing you were ex extremely excited about? Damage boost. Every time, every time you get a random standard damage boost mod, I'm impressed because I played this game for 80 hours and got two ever. Hmm. And it's the strongest, it's the strongest general type of, uh, bought to get. I think that could actually be kind of awesome with spin. What, the ammo refund ch chance? 10% chance to get one bullet back when you hit one bullet and 100% chance to not get the bullet back when you miss? I mean, shoot 10% longer. There's the one that just gives you a chance that just reduces ammo consumption and or increases the ammo. Oh, like straight right. up. Well, then I'll hold yeah. off on that then. Yeah. Neat. Okay. Tell me of Pierce. Oh. Oh, okay. That looks sweet. I get two per bar. Jesus. All right. Yeah, that's that's Piercy. All right. Neat. those strange symbols and on this slab contained in presumably a fully soundproof room that's a little weird I don't know why I'm bothering pointing out that things are weird anymore this whole place is goddamn weird yeah Jesse says so herself during the intro like come on If anybody shows up in the middle of this room, they are fucked. Altered item number 52AE analysis. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a zero so isn't it weird that applied, each with a different value on the pH scale. Isn't it weird that the uh, the rubber duck doesn't melt? Yeah. Also, yeah, they mentioned about not bringing rubber ducks in earlier, right? No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? 
Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Okay. I can't help but notice that this platform is apparently empty, but the doors have been very sealed. Meanwhile, Perhaps this door is allowed to be me, open. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, mysterious rubber duck. The door is theoretically it's locked, unlocked. But at least it's usable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, Ethan? Thank you. Robert Ducky, this you're the lab. one. Man hook, okay. hand hook, car door <laughs> gun. Sounds like these HRAs. Sounds like darling Bill. Oh, good. And most of the things around here. Super hot. Super <laughs> hot. Super hot. <laughs> I was going to say, this is like... <laughs> Oh, good. There's mannequins looking at me through the windows just after my coworker had a mannequin-related accident in actual life. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, 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 I was waiting for you to get to this room to see if you would notice all the red guys looking at you through the window. <laughs> Super. Can I just That's say how much I love the peers? Because the, uh... Just shoot it at a concrete wall. Everything about this weapon is so cool. Does it actually make an X in it? No, but the hole is very hot. And then yeah. it cools down over time. What? What? Why are you... Why are you just... What? What am I missing? I can tell you right now, there is nothing in this corridor that you care about, and the Polaris indicator here is supposed to tell you to go down to the rest of this room, and if you turn around and still see it, that's because the devs fucked up. Oh, okay. Yes, turn around, it's still there, that's the mistake. Yeah. It's supposed to not be there anymore, because you're see. supposed you're supposed to literally go through that door right there on your left. Which is why, of course, it's locked. Give me that. Well, that's ominous as shit. What about this conspicuously unlocked door? Buried behind a whole bunch of bullshit. Oh, look, it's ad time again. We'll be back. Oops. All right. Control continues. What's this way? Oh, I know what this way is. All right. You do? What's over there? How do you know? I think I heard quacking faintly. I heard something for a moment there. Maybe not. So hold on, there's pipe on the map. Do I travel in pipes? Steam filled corridors? Well, I thought I heard a noise when I went in that room. Maybe not. There's definitely some kind of tunnel attached to that on the map, but for now... What? Oh, jeez, it's actually the arrow keys. Yeah, it's actually the arrow keys. It's not lost. So, on next, uh, on mind-bending shenanigans... Oh.
Okay. Congratulations. I just had to figure out what the interface was and then I could let me hear. Any idea how to make it work? And I had to do it. Black rock prisms. Unique formations of black rock, distinct in their shape and potency, while density of black rock dampens paranatural forces. Unique molecular structure, whatever. I structure. assume crystalline or molecular. Crystalline, yeah, sure. Of prisms retain frequencies in the range of something with perfect something harmonization. The report analyzes the results of focusing a laser beam laser beam maybe yeah through a harmonized yeah. prism onto something else methods for imprinting of non-physical fields imbuing them with properties of the harmonized resonance in the prism will be explored and explained okay well this is a big weird previously sealed room with an enormous machine in it that uh, Polaris is very interested in. Also, these are numbered. Yeah. <clears throat> One must be up there. Four. thought for a moment that said congratulations congratulations what does it actually say configurations uh, <laughs> configurations yeah. all right that's just not a space so where's one there's one. I'm going to have to do these in order in a time limit, aren't I? Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darlene must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Okay, so first up, collect punch cards. That was one punch card. Got it. Oh, God. Alright, two punch card. Three punch card. That was not there a second ago. Four punch card. So, we need to find all the punch cards. I dislike that those only just appeared. Okay, so... Yeah, it's kind of weird they didn't... Is that the hmm. same list as downstairs? No, it's not. No, it isn't. The first one's the same. So clearly the first one is the one with the, with the three things in the center, you know? Presumably. Which machine is this? One. Okay, well, why don't you go look at the billboard? What is it, what is it like for the first one? Dimensions. 
on on this whiteboard that's the first symbol wait what yeah but that one is crossed out so fucking fuck this one we don't care about oh that. okay each punch card should correspond to a terminal thanks marshall fucking ignore her see oh okay all right so the ones where they're not crossed out yeah there are so that's this ones one tells what up. one and four are i bet I see. Also, it's very interesting how one of them says, like, too powerful for our use. Yeah, what do these do exactly? Okay, so there's one. We know that much. I assume that because they're basically, like, this one... inlaid cubes inside other cubes, this is some sort of, like, four-dimensional tetra-dimensional engineering. These whiteboard drawings may be important. Yeah, I, I know they're important. I'm working on it. So... Two's the one that's filled? Yeah, I think that two and three are swapped. Yeah, that one. Yeah, exactly. So as you see, it shows two and three, but then it's got arrows under it. I love that you can just see that. Okay, so this one has like the left half on number four. Is that the same symbol up here? No, it's not. But do both of these exist? They do, yeah. Mm, go check what the one downstairs says. So that one shows you that you should use the other one, but what does the one down here say? No, not that one, that one. No, that one's complete bullshit. That one, yeah. Look what it says more closely. Oh, feedback loop. Oh, no. Yeah, so the left, the left half goes... Marshall, I have no fucking clue what the symbols mean. That's what I was just guessing about earlier. Okay, so we do that. Also, did this vent grate briefly highlight? No. It did. Oh, no, it's the, <laughs> the lighting update. Got it. Yeah, it's the lighting update. Oop. All right. Time for magic CNC machine. CNC. Oh, that was cool. Uh, no, I guess it is just a laser pointing through a. I don't know. It, it kind of looked like a, kind of looked like the um, tip was gonna like lower down and cut something out of it, you know. The prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. And a new prism. We need more black rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab, down in the Black Rock Processing Site and Maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now. Before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan? I need David? something from you first. Ah, oh, great, a fetch quest. I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here. And we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only I one. I am personally with help. like basically being paranormal Jesus here. I've just been like, I probably would have just told her, I don't Dylan, care. We'll have to wait just a little longer. <laughs> you're going to follow me to the elevator, and you're going to tell me about it. Jesse is fine. Hey, Math. I'll call Welcome, you Raiders. Today. Here, you'll need this key card. Why wasn't oh my there God. a profile icon on that? Emily Poe yeah, I noticed there's no profile reason. icons on that. Once I have the prison, hmm. I'll meet you there. There's supposed to be. Right. I'll move out immediately. And I'm blind switch on it. Yeah. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. Well, it's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. 
I think that's... That's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Where exactly are these mines? And should you be mining there? Here, this will lead back to central research. Well, this uh -huh. place is fucking bizarre some more. It's a convenient shortcut tunnel. Yeah, which just wasn't here before. That's fine. See, he has a hidden wall that leads to the main room. See? Huh. Yep. Neat. Literal, like, Zelda dungeon shit there. <laughs> See, uh... Apparently, really wanted to keep this a secret. I guess so. All right. Well, back to maintenance then, I suppose. I would like to notify you. Yes. You are capable of getting two more main abilities, but they're both optional. Oh, gosh. You're also here. Hello. <laughs> Hello, bears. <laughs> Briefly double checking my clock to make sure I didn't go long. Everybody's just showing up. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan. Once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me? Cease. What? Rule of three. Rule of I fucking miss. Okay. Back to the good old armor. And yes, by the way, this is, this right here is one of the things, if you check your side missions, you'll see it. It is right here on the main path. Like, this is the part where you're quote-unquote supposed to get it, but you could have gotten it earlier by walking over here at any point. Oh. See, this is investigate the training course. Yes. Well, I guess let's do that while we're here. Oh, God. Oh, well, I fucked the entire desk this time. That's new. Wait, hold on. <laughs> this desk is just a plank sitting on top of filing cabinets. Owned. <laughs> a gorgeously modeled pile of fucking garbage. I've dated those. Yeah, same. All right. So, so I, I just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in a specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or? I always did love obstacle courses. Did you? Who loves obstacle courses? If I push this button and the fitness gram pacer test starts talking, I'm going to scream. 
It's not the fitness gram pacer test. Don't Get worry. Ready, right it's here. not. The that would be copyrighted audio, five, wouldn't it? Multi-stage aerobic. Four, three, Thank you, Danny. Two, one. Go. So. What is this? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to. Thanks for grabbing not what I wanted. Right. I like that they have actual gym mats here. <laughs> Turned green when he threw the thing at it. Hey, can I tell that? No, you can't. I'm just letting you know. I actually did not know that you could hit them with launch. I thought you had to shoot them. Force failed. Try again, Ranger. Can you? Ah. Okay. So. You actually got pretty close for your first attempt. You can probably do this. Yeah, probably. It's it's the Get aiming. Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Jesus Christ, really? Forty-five seconds remaining. the maps you did. Yep. Okay, well, if it hadn't been for those goddamn mats, I think I've got this. Get ready, Ranger. Horse starting in five, four, three, two, one. Aha! Uh -huh. Go! Damn. Shit. By the way, you keep missing one of the. Uh, this is not the intended way to do this, by the way, but just keep going. There's another uh, electric slot you keep not hitting. Really? Yeah. Fifteen seconds remaining. And now you're at zero on energy, you can't pick things up for a while. By the way, picking that up and dropping it wasted the energy. Yes, I so noticed. Five seconds remaining. Oh man. Fuck you, awkward voice recording. That's so rude. Wait, it didn't even tell you you failed. Jesse has a Jesse has a line for it. I Get fucking ready, love Ranger. it. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, go. Nope. Forty-five seconds remaining. Nope. I'm not trying to mock you. I'm actually appalled by how many bullets those tires blocked. Pick this up. Look to your right. Further to your right. Further to your right. There's an electric switch there. 
And if you if you pick them both up, then you don't have to do this jumping thing. But I think this jumping thing is actually faster anyway, so. No, not the fucking bag. It's sandbagged. Five seconds remaining. Shit. I really, ready, really quite Horse hate the pickup highlighted Four, object. Three, Doesn't. Two, one. Uh, I never had issues with the game where the, it shows you a highlight object and then it just doesn't pick it up. What are you aiming with? My mouse? Okay. It looks like you were aiming at the stick, and I was like, huh. Nah, it's all good. Well, yeah, you can't. 30 seconds that, you can't ma mantle while uh, holding something. Oh, god damn it! Seconds remaining. The door doesn't open to the place. I figured as much, but I'm already up here. Yeah. Yes, that does save time. Complete. Congratulations, Ryan. Congratulations, you're fucked. Okay. It's not hostile. Yeah, I, I, at least I don't think it is. It's not hostile, it throws explosions at it. Hmm. You don't need to hit it harder, it's fine. What is this? Oh, that's the safe. Didn't you read about this? What does the safe do? Keeps things safe. Bind safe. Huh, shield. How do I do that? Ew. Uh... Neat. You do have to actually point it at them though. It's not, it is directional. As you can ah. see, you can get shot in the butt. Well, it kind of looked like it was all around me, so. No, it's in front of me. Forgive me also, for Also, obviously, while shield is up, energy does not recharge. Yeah. Mercifully, it does not drain, though. Okay. Mercifully, it doesn't drain, realizes that the seal shield is indeed being depleted. It loses health over time, and it loses health when shot. So given the ones behind me, do I need to... No, the ones behind you don't shoot you. Well, that's nice of them. As you can see... Uh, this is basically the moving cover button. Yes. You can't sprint while shielding. And or, you can't mantle either. Nor can I jump. Yep. Which I think is part of why this part's here. To see no one's shooting at you anymore. Yeah. It's just there to convince you to hit shield and then realize you lose it if you mantle. Fair. Yep. Alright. Sweet. Oh boy, that's less sweet. Good time to have a shield. That's salty. Now, am I allowed to throw parts of my shield like that one dude or nah? Uh, it's an upgrade. Ow. 
Ow. Me picking up this plastic tree procedures. That's fine. You know, you might be able to just leave. I don't know if you even have to fight these guys. See, melee doesn't get through it. Uh, his sniper shots also won't get through it, despite the fact that it looks like there are holes and you don't have to worry about it. Okay. But I can't melee out of it either. Indeed. That's was that, was that the last dude? Yeah. No, it was not. No. That's also an upgrade. The upgrades to shield are actually like completely disgusting if you bother to go into it. Okay. Yeah. Neat. I would tell you my favorite one is, but I don't want to spoil it. I do quite like that shield. Wait, where is out of here? I guess just back this way. Alright. I did it. And then is this oh yeah the hypnosis lab is this another thing i can go do right now yes it is which will be back in the hypnosis lab gosh hmm continue with this or i like powers Hypnosis was in research. Oh well. What? Oh no, it, uh, I, I was looking at something else. Oh. It has nothing to do with control. Okay. Yeah, this game seriously has me transfixed. It's amazing. Despite the shitty um, uh, obstacle course. Oh. Why are you all still alive? You are very dead. I fell inside that bench, I'm so dead. I don't know why you fell inside the bench, now that I think about it. Hi, baby. Hello. Is it time for a dog break? I think it's time for a dog break. Twitch viewers, look at this dog. Look at this dog. Hi, baby. Such a sweetie. Thank you, Clancy. Thank you. Dog break over. Despite being on the other side of that door, I've... The door, yeah, that door, is, the door open. itself is not open. Yep. But this is still open, so... Yep. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop.
I'm just going this way in order to reach a control point to fast travel the rest of the way. You could have took take the elevator to executive and then use the giant main control point. Yeah, I realize that now. You have eight ability points. I sure so goddamn do. Let's look at shield, yeah. More strength to shield, yep. When released, propels debris at nearby enemies. Okay. Hmm. How would I have gotten to this point without evade? You can skip evade. You can beat the whole game without it. Yeah, neat. You can just never do the side quest to get the pony. Ah, energy will recover while thing is active. Okay, so it's less that I throw the... Well, it, I, I guess it is throwing the shield. You throw the shield at them, yes. But it's specifically with the shield button rather than... Yeah, when you put the shield down, it throws the shield at yeah. nearby enemies. You also get more health, so you stop dying. Yeah, that, that stands to reason. It's up to you. Let's do that. Which gets us another personal mod slot. Which you could use to stack even more health. Oh, I didn't unlock the... Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, you know, let's let's just do this. Let's choose to do that. You seem to like using health and having melee attacks. Yeah, they're powerful. This is not the menu for that. This is the menu for that. Okay, so besides... That seems strong. It is. Getting pretty full on uh, weapon mods. Good lord, 30% armor damage. Or you could have 30% all the time damage. Yeah. Or 22 or 26 or something. You can toss them if you want because they're tier one. As much as I was making a big fuss about them earlier, it only really matters if I tiers. Whoops. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, hang on. That's more shooting. That's just definitely more shooting. As opposed to the 10% the to refund. That's pretty good. So, unlock by upgrading. How Upgrade the gun. <laughs> oh. Right. That thing that I haven't really been doing. That's how you do it. Right, because I did it for grip, and then I immediately got something better than grip. Actually, you never did it for grip. Grip is still level one. Is it? It has two mods. That's upgrading grip to have its second slot. Oh. You have it done. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Fast <laughs> travel to. I guess that's close enough. Yeah, go there. That's the closest place. Because that's up on the. That's up next to the elevator where you have to hold out. Well, Marshall sent the elevator up, and then right. you can go downstairs to the lower half of that room with all the weird platforms with the brain tinfoil cages. Yeah. The other way. Yes. Oh, that's much more upsetting now that I'm seeing it. It makes a lot more sense, though. Yeah. It's just a, one of those big, you know, diagram things, the human brain. Yep. Makes a lot more sense when you see the whole thing. And 
an enemy has appeared. No? Okay. Hypnosis Lab! So they're listed as friendlies. Yes. They are listed as friendlies. But they're hypnotized. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Mesmerized by it. They're just standing there. Menacingly! Or mesmerizingly, I guess, in this case. Yeah, mesmerizedly. Oh, but I don't get to know the pattern? Or do you? Oh, there it is. You know, posted on the wall right over there. There we go. Neat. That was kind of stupidly easy. <laughs> Are you intentionally constantly switching your gun form around? Yeah, I just hadn't seen it from the side. I like the, the sharpness at the bottom. Yeah, it's a very interesting how the service weapon, all of its forms have inactive appearances as well when you're not aiming them. Wait, what did that actually do? Different. It didn't open that door because that door has been glued shut with cement. This room totally isn't horrifying at all. That's a tier three mod. Neat. Yeah, I just figured I'd let you know. Oh, maybe it opened this. Please state your name for the record. All warned astronaut first class, and you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, lo <laughs> Corporeal untangling sounds a lot like dismemberment or death. It's not dismemberment or death necessarily, though. Do you see what I mean? It could continue to exist, but its corporeal form could be untangled. The X-ray light box is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. So they're, they're listed as friendlies and they're transfixed. I get the distinct impression that once I've bound this, they're not friendlies. And that is just kind of what it does. I like how the boss is named like the board speaks. NPC, yeah. Does anyone want to tell me what C's? Okay, I can tell you how to use it. I can tell you how to use it. Yeah. So, get an enemy to low health. I got me to low health. You're not an enemy. Get an enemy to low health. As you can see in the bottom left corner, it was telling you enemies at low health can be seized. However, that guy just fucking mowed you down instantly like a mobster. I actually have no idea how he killed you so fast considering we just got all those health upgrades. Oh, it auto fires eventually. No, it doesn't. I am just gonna keep charging it. Yes, it does. It does? Oh, what you the fuck? You can't charge it forever. It can't hold it forever? I thought you could hold a pierce forever. Maybe I have an upgrade that lets me do that. Okay, never mind. When I played the game, I was able to hold pierce forever, but that might have been because I had stuff upgrade. Okay, so there's a dude around here somewhere. There was a second dude. 
Enemies at low health can be seized. So the gold guy's invincible to you. Yep. But that copy, I assume, yeah. I can get to low health, seize it to... There it is. It's level six. Oh, that's why I owned you. It's a level six enemy. Okay. Notice it, it gives them blue health. They flipped around the triangle. It's the right side up. And now it's on your team. Okay, so the gold ones are invulnerable to me. That's the distinction. Yes. Okay. Neat. Also, I think when you, uh, when you seize them, you get, like, your health refill. I don't know if you've noticed that. When you seize them, you tend to get your health back. Yeah, we'll figure that out in a second here. Oh, oh no, yeah. See, they, no, drop, they, drop, they drop their drops bits. drops the remainder of their health as health elements when you seize them. Yeah, that makes sense. It's, you don't lose out of a possible healing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You are dead. You are not dead. One of my seized dudes got there. Yeah. Hey, at least the uh at least now you know that the the sniper rifle, even not fully upgraded, is nearly one shotting level six enemies. So if you did upgrade it, it would be a true monster. Yeah, very true. Assuming you can aim it, of course. Whoa. There you go. Huh. They're all dead. Three. Oh. Well, are they gonna stay dead? You could try putting the a few round, few rounds in their head. The object. Oh, never mind. They're dead. Hmm. So they were actually friendly. Yeah, they they were people. And then. Mm. Well, does that mean that Hiss couldn't get to them because they were, like, under the control of the light box? Possible. That's actually interesting to think about. Oh, God damn it! So, I know what you're thinking. Because I think I know what you're thinking. Can I seize the funny health blob? The answer to that question is yes. Neat. And then it'll heal me. Constantly, yes. Neat. And your allies, if you see other allies. And it's very funny. Unfortunately, despite your despite your best efforts to increase your health bar, it looks like that you don't have one. Yeah. Um, it's like fire in Noita. Deals damage based on the percentage of your health, therefore increasing your health is pointless. Well, I mean, I have that power already, despite now not having done that. So, I guess we're good. Sure, whatever. I have more points. These dura oh, they they become they become unseized eventually, do they? No, they just die. Oh. Remember, his health their health were dropping to zero. When oh, they get seized, right. okay. they don't ever turn back against you, they just die eventually. Yeah. Even more health? I assume you're not gonna use seize much, so I maybe? I don't know. Seize is pretty good without any upgrades. Oh, there's a big guy here. You probably don't lose that. You may need the 
ability to seize large enemies to seize the health things, which is an upgrade. Yeah, you do. Sorry. Unfortunate. Yes. I can see why you want to try it immediately, but yeah, no, it's an upgrade. Especially given that it's, like, put me in this situation immediately. Eh, it's fine. Just, ki just kill the little guy and turn him into a seize, and then... Uh oh. Excuse me? That was really funny. They just kept going boop, boop, boop. And you're just tapping him on the head like, you okay there, buddy? Yeah, the, the animation was ending when I was releasing the button and... Or, yeah, starting when I released the button and uh, ending when I pushed the button, which is not how I want that to work. That's a horrifying face as I'm doing that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not like his mind got fucking, like, destroyed by this or anything. You may be noticing... I did it! That... Yeah, you did it. Congratulations! You may be noticing that your, um... Your pierce does damage to his armor and his health because it literally pierces his armor. Oh. You're here. He got hit by the trash can on the way up and died instantly. <laughs> ah, that's the, I see. Yes, that's what I told you about earlier. It's like, don't worry, the game will tell you. Oh my god, I can do it from far away? It's a pretty long range. Even longer than that. Oh! That's why C's are so well, good. Well, that's bonkers. Yeah, C, like, you could have died from there. I don't know if the guy can dodge Pierce or not. Because it might it might be like undodgeable. It might be too I'm goddamn sure. fast. Yeah, I assumed that because like you know the regular bullets are hit scan, but like they're like, haha, they can dodge bullet, and this is like, no, this goes at like the speed of light. I'm not sure if that's true. You know it's a good fight when there's a ton of floor when there's a ton of health laying around on the floor and you don't need it. Yeah, that's a good sign. Alright, time to toss some stuff because I'm full. Wait. I'm over full. How does that work? Uh I don't know. Just start deleting stuff. Okay. I would just delete everything that's level one, except the twenty-two percent damage boost. Which is the left most damage boost. That's a damage against armor. Oh, right. Yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. I keep that one and I just toss everything else that's tier one. Okay. Well, that was fucking nutty. See, you have a couple of ability points you can spend, I think, or did you already spend those? I, fuck, I might have more. I think I spent them. Yeah, I spent them. Yeah, you spent them. Okay, awesome. Now you gotta go back to maintenance. Or you go to Central Executive and talk to Emily, because you haven't done that in a while. Yeah, it's also end of stream time, so. Oh, shit. Figure I'll talk to Emily and uh, move on. Well, move on next time. Pope wants us to compile all of Darwin's data. Welcome back. Wait. Personal logs? The crucify us if he finds out. Who does she think she is authorizing that kind of data breach? She must think he's hiding something. And I agree. The HRAs alone are proof Darling knew more than he let on. Hello. 
Whoa, hey, there's new stuff on the table. And over here. What? Weird. Just the collectibles repopulate every so often? Hi, Jesse. I think so. Interesting. Now, are these... They're not all grayed out, but I've already asked about this, haven't I? Did you? She might have something different what to say. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. Yeah, I swear I asked about this already. See, I have extreme yeah. doubts that the motel is a single Oh, well, never mind that. Fuck. Okay, so the way it's programmed is that every time but her dialogue switches to a new house, set, some of them are the same, or at least one of them might one be the same. It depends on the sets. And then she, uh, it. you know, so if it refreshes all of them and lists them all as unread, even if it's actually the same one. I haven't told I'm waiting until... Oh, there is a skip. Yeah, there is a skip. Oh, thank God. Okay. Which is really impressive because it's skip in engine. Points. Like, think about how impressive They're that is. They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What, I mean, you mean physically? No, not that I've ever heard of. Why? <laughs> because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. <laughs> Let's hold off on the tests. You're so you excited. Okay? He's like, wait, you have a fast travel system? Okay. You're like, yeah. yeah. Just, wow. I mean, <laughs> this blows my control point right out of the water. I love it. No, no, I think I think you're still correct. They're 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 uh, nexuses of energy, but like they're more of vertexes of a higher dimensional geometry made out of the ley lines that run through your reality. But don't worry about that. You and so the fast travel assistant? is just running along those lines well, between vertices. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we it's study fine. the materials. The altered items they bring back it's always something we've never seen before and studying them requires new instruments methodologies sometimes entirely new fields of science like the luck division emily really loves her job yep see there's no guidebook for what we do here I've everything noticed. that happens at the bureau including the science is without precedent this place has a bad habit of moving around huh so you notice the building shifts did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused Why by Why are you shift? so excited about that? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. That's why. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. At one time, a shark got shifted into a I... meeting room along with over 2,000 <laughs> gallons Remember of when water. you read about that? It was a tiger <laughs> That's true. Shark, Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. Sharks with frickin' laser beams, I imagine. Work here? <laughs> I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself. More passageways but between. I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? I feel like your enthusiasm with the Not tests may them, have no. Some uh, had been part volatile of volatile material. That's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? Yeah, that would be why. No, I don't want you. I don't want you in my See lab. You soon. Be careful out oh, there. Oh, what's this thing? Poke, explode. It would explain the hair loss. Think about it. The, <laughs> the hair loss. You're concerned about the hair loss. 
Okay. Oh, that's the end. It of would that. explain the hair loss. <laughs> it's like, uh, would it explain me getting folded into a fucking creeper? <laughs> Yeah, wait a minute, hold on. Folded into a creeper. The creepers were supposed to be pigs, but their body and feet got attached wrong. So, like, essentially, yes, that is, that's the hiss, all right. Uh, gosh. I am deeply concerned. Miss Heathen comments, oh, by the way, you have had the camera on the dog this whole time. I'm assuming that, wait, am I crazy? No, you haven't. Oh my God, my stream's been broken this whole time. Yeah, no, I, I, I just went back to the booth on Twitch. Okay, so Heathen has commented there's a scientist in Attack on Titan named uh, I don't know how to pronounce that um, who is... Terminally horny for science. Yeah, that, that's... Yep. Please never speak again. <laughs> why, why are you so bothered by this? Terminally horny for lots of things? I guess Hanjay. Because it's like Japanese, right? Like Attack on Titan. But, like, I have no idea. Most of this no. game dog is egg. like that. I love you, Danny. I have a duck egg. You have a duck egg. Good. The rabbits should be adults soon as well. Uh, he's playing Stardew Valley, if anyone was curious. I wasn't curious. I'm trying to escape what life is like right now. Uh, I've chosen to stream. Well, you're out of time. Yeah. I have just a little bit of background stuff to do here as we wrap up. Thanks again, uh, Math and Raiders, for being here. If you aren't following already, consider doing so. Um, I do a lot of stuff. And, uh, Yes, as, as Heathen has helpfully connected the continuing fundraiser effort uh, to further escape how life is right now, except more directly in the form of changing how life is right now. But. Help us quite literally escape how life is right now. Yeah, and move and do business things. Exciting developments are on the way. Um... Speaking of which, tomorrow uh, will be session 12 of Super, Me Su Super, Me Super Metroid Subversion. Um, Super Zero Mission? <laughs> Super Metroid Subversion, uh, or session 5 of Enormous Spoilers. That's um, still going? It's still goddamn going. Wow. We, we, okay. Okay. Would you like to know what text goes inside of enormous spoilers to explain no, why? Because I'm probably going to explain it. I'm probably going to play it. You know that. That's why you haven't told me up until this point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully, see people tomorrow for that, though obviously not Oz. Uh, thank you, Oz, for being here again as my companion through this majestic thing um but yeah that's gonna do it for tonight goodbye everyone <laughs>